and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of a Kiwi Crate, which we haven't done before. This is a new subscription for us, so I'm excited to share it with you. And if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to show you some unboxing videos, to show you curriculum and organizational ideas for homeschooling. So if you're interested in any of those types of things, please subscribe below and let's get into this box. So first of all, we have gotten a few Kiwi crates before, mostly just around Christmas time because KiwiCo has a lot of huge sales and so I just buy them and wrap them as Christmas presents and my kids love it. So we've gotten just a few little random ones through that, but we haven't ever had a consistent subscription. So I don't know what exactly this is gonna be like and what we're gonna get. I was excited to see that this is not one we've had before. And so let's get into this box and show it to you. So this one is called Exploring Stars and build a spinning model of the earth, moon, and sun and create a constellation lantern. So that sounds super exciting. So I got this, first of all, because my son, who's four and a half, was super sad that his brother and sister were getting boxes every month and he wasn't getting anything. And so I was like, well, we'll try this out and see how it goes and see how age appropriate this is because he's not quite five yet and this box is for like five to eight, I believe. And it's kind of a mixture of doodle and tinker crates as far as it gives you some things that are a little bit more tinkery sometimes sometimes more art driven. It's supposed to be kind of a mix. So we'll see how this is. So let's learn more about exploring stars. So I guess, first of all, since we just started the subscription, it gives us a little welcome to KiwiCo and let you go on a little adventure. I think they must give you a sticker or something every time and you can put it on here to see where, how many you've done, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. But here's the little booklet. Actually, there's two, they're stuck together. Okay, so here's the instructions booklet, it looks like. So how we're gonna build the box and do stuff with the stars. So this looks really exciting and cool, this little lantern and something over here. And then they also give us this little pamphlet, which again, I love. It doesn't come in the doodle crate. I'm not sure why, but it does come in the tinker crate. So it gives you a little bit more information and sometimes in these they give you additional crafts you can do either with the box or sometimes they give a few extra supplies and then they give something in the book you can use those supplies for. So we have this little package right here. I don't really know what's in here. There's a little ball and a few other things. I don't know, I guess we'll see. And then we have some screws. You can see those there. And then this cool little wood contraption. And I don't know, stickers. It looks like these are all little stars. It's hard to tell in there, but this looks like it's for that little lantern that we saw in the book. And a little antenna. No, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it is. And oh, this is a little lantern light. So if you can see that. And on the top, that's so that's what this is. One of those little lights. And then some more things to build for constellations. So this looks really fun. I've mentioned before in other videos where we've done a little astronomy stuff that I love the stars. So I'm excited for my son to get to do this and see how much of it he can do by himself and how much help he needs. And so we will come back and let you know how everything goes.
hindering you. Is it right there? I guess, I can't see. just finished doing our kiwi crate well his kiwi crate and he was beyond excited when I told him that I had one for him to do so we're excited to show it to you okay what do you want to show him first so it had a little lantern you can make it's really hard to see the stars in the camera but they're on this it's tissue-ish paper if that's a word tissue-ish it's wax paper. It's like a mix between wax and tissue paper. So it's a little bit thicker than tissue paper. And he just put the stars on the inside and then there's a little candle in there that's hard to see here. I guess you can sort of see it right there glowing in the middle. And he was able to create his own constellations and make his own little lantern. And what was your favorite part of doing this one? All of it. All of it? He yeah. liked all of it. And, and the, the bottom. And the bottom. The bottom is the best part. Okay, how about you show them this one? Okay, so I think this one's really cool and you can spin it. Can you want to spin it for him? There it goes. What's happening? It's spinning around. It's spinning around in a circle. So in the middle, this ball is supposed to be the sun. It has a little light in it. And this black in the back seat is, a ball, is the moon. Yep, there's a little one that's gray right here. And this is the earth. And then and these yep. are stickers and this is a ball. <laughs> there you go. He's going to tell you everything. So yeah, this is the earth and the moon here. And so then when you put twist it on the bottom, the earth and the moon rotate around the sun. And yeah. the moon goes around the earth too, huh? So it's pretty cool. So what was your favorite part about this one? Um, the sun and the moon and the earth. You liked putting those on. And did you think anything was really hard on the project that you weren't able to do? Um, nothing. Nothing? You can do it all. So for the most part, it was pretty easy. Obviously, I had to help him through the instructions and then a few things I helped him with. But it actually helped a lot with fine motor skills, like having to take off the little stickers and then... You, it's hard to see, but there's little screws with nuts on them here. And he did a really good, yeah, good job screwing them on. And so do, those kinds of things, I thought it was great for helping with those fine motor skills. And then something else that I thought looks super fun in the other pamphlet they give you that looks like this is that it has that you can use the box right here as a solar oven. And you can make s'mores, so then you line it with aluminum foil you put the s'mores inside and then you cover it with, I think, plastic wrap and then put it outside for 20 minutes. And we're actually going to be doing some a camping unit something, I don't know yet, this fall. 
And so I thought this would be really fun for the kids to do and to see if it, how well it works or maybe try different types of s'mores with, I don't know, peanut butter or <laughs> whatever you like to do on your s'mores, but a variety of things. And we could see how it works. So we really enjoyed our kiwi crate and he is very, very excited that he's going to get another one next month. And yeah. <laughs> there you go. And so if you are interested in seeing more of these unboxings or other things about homeschool, just please subscribe below. And we are so excited to see you next time.